Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're doing a new video on the HD Home Run today because there's a new app called Channels that just came out for the iPad and the iPhone and we're going to take a look at it and basically what it lets you do is uh, tune live television from a channel guide on your iOS device. So I have it running here on an iPad Pro. You can tap on the channel you want to watch. It will uh, connect up with an HD Home Run TV tuner that you have installed in your home and you can start watching live television. We'll step through some of the features of this in a minute but I do want to mention in the interest of full disclosure that the developers behind the channels app provided me with a beta copy free of charge for this review and also Silicon Dust who makes the TV tuner that we're going to be talking about today in relation to this app uh, has been a sponsor on the channel and I've done some consulting work for them in the past. However, I was a client of theirs long before they became a client of mine because I use an HD home run tuner here in my house to uh, kind of break the shackles of the cable companies. So I have my own, uh, basically my own system here, my own DVR system free of all of the Comcast equipment. And you can check out my series link down below in the video description to get a full overview of everything. However, nobody is paying for this review. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and nobody is reviewing this content before it is posted. So let's take a look and see what we got here. So we turned on South Park a little while ago and what's neat is that if you can see up top is that it's actually buffering backwards and this is not a DVR but it does have some time shifting capability which is pretty neat to have on an iPad. Uh, there's a similar version of this app available for uh, the Apple TV which also has this feature. They are separate apps though. Uh, so what you can do here is pause live television. Uh, you can also skip back seven seconds at a time here by swiping to the left. There's also an icon up here to do the same thing and there's a purple indicator to show you how much is being recorded. I can also skip 30 seconds ahead, so you can do that by uh, swiping to the right or uh, using that button there. And if I want to start playing back again, I just hit the play button. Now this buffer uh, will store about 90 minutes of video or uh, depending on how much storage you have on your device, it might be less. So it does uh, write to your local flash storage. And if you're running low on space, you won't be able to buffer all that much. Uh, and the second you tune off the channel, it erases all of it. But it's nice to have that. So you do have some basic time shifting here uh, while you're watching your live TV shows. Now, if you are using the cable tuner, one thing this app does not work with are protected channels. So no HBO or Showtime or other uh, channels that are protected by your local cable system are going to work on this. But things that are free and clear, especially those over the air channels, if you're using one of the over the air HD home run tuners should work fine. It will also allow you to uh, take a look and see what's on your favorite channels here at the bottom while you're watching something live. It doesn't support offline or uh, in the background viewing. So this always has to be the foreground app in order for it to work. So you can't listen to the uh, TV audio in the background, at least not yet on this particular version of the app. I'm going to click on done here and go back out to our channel guide. They have a full channel guide here. Now it's nice about these HD home run tuners is that they sit on your network and things that are designed to work with them just find them automatically and they get all the channel information brought over to them and uh, you're ready to go. And the same is said here of the channels app. So when I uh, booted it up for the first time, my channel guide immediately came up. If I go over here to settings and uh, you'll see here, it found, found my HD Home Run Prime that is on my network here. I can tap on that and I can also add favorite channels to the mix here too. So if I wanted to add, for example, maybe uh, USA and TBS, I can click on the little heart icons next to those. And if I go back out to the main menu here and tap on on now, it'll show me now those two networks in my mix of favorite networks. I don't have to go through the channel guide every time. I can click on on now. It'll tell me what's on those channels right now. And then I can tap on the Big Bang Theory, for example, uh, get an, an idea as to what it's about today, and then tap on watch now, and it will immediately tune to that channel and uh, get up and running with that. So really a nice feature set there and really nice integration too, because you don't have to program your channels every time you add a new HD home run app to your network and everything works together. So right now in my house, I have uh, the HD home run recording engine for their DVR running on a network attached storage device. My wife uh, loves the Windows Media Center installation that I set up two or three years ago when I first started this adventure. Uh, so that's running at the moment. We got the channels app going. And as long as you have an HD home run tuner that is not being watched, uh, something can grab one of those available tuners and begin watching. So in the case of my HD home run prime that I have here, it's the cable tuner. I have three tuners. I can watch three or record uh, three different things at the same time. So as long as there's a tuner available, uh, these devices will work with it. Now it's really nice that this app also also works on the iPhone. Uh, same exact feature set, it's just a smaller screen so I can tune uh, to my local news station here. I uh, get an idea as to what's going on there. If I uh, do the um, 3D touch on here, I can get uh, the thing to pop up uh, briefly and then I can uh, let it go back down again. I can tap on what's on the uh, air here, click on watch now and 
uh, up will come the evening news here and I'm ready to go watching on my iPhone as well. Now the important thing to note here is that this does not work outside your network. So you have to have an HD home run tuner first of all, it doesn't work without one, uh, and you have to be on your home network right now. I also suggest having wireless AC because you are uh, pushing over rather large video files that you're streaming here. These are compressed but it's older MPEG-2 compression which pushes a lot more data and I found that wireless AC works the best and you want good coverage, you want to be relatively close to your access points. So if you have weak 5 gigahertz AC coverage in your home, you might want to get a few more access points to give yourself some better coverage. But uh, I bought a couple of these uh, Unify uh, AC access points and put them all over the house and I've been having no trouble at all with this uh, with my iPad and with my iPhone. So it works really well. So it's a nice way to just give yourself a uh, television anywhere in the house and nice time shifting capabilities. Uh, the app is $14.99 and I know when I reviewed the Apple TV version, a lot of folks scoffed at the price, but you know, this is kind of a niche thing. I mean, there's, there's uh, HD Home Run is a popular product among people that do cord cutting like you do and I do, but uh, many other people don't do it. So there's a smaller audience for this than maybe something that uh, would work without the need for additional hardware. So that's why there's a higher price point. And I think they really did put together a really nice app here uh, with a full channel guide and uh, really works nicely. This is separate again from the Apple TV app. So the Apple TV app is also available for $14.99. But uh, in my opinion, these folks really worked hard on this. It's a great app. Uh, and I think if you want to get a nice TV experience on your iPad or iPhone, this is a great way to do it. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.